and uh, for the material for the text uh, press uh, first of all uh, press alt w and uh, deselect everything uh, press m uh, go to a new material slot and uh, why not uh, use a material preset uh, maybe a concrete brown this is good press ok and uh, drag and drop it on the text and the show material in viewport yeah uh, press uh, P for perspective view and uh, let's see how this looks how this text looks when we make a preview oops not very good so uh, let's uh, test another material maybe uh, why not I this metal rust red show material in viewport and uh, test render Uh, I don't like this material either, so I'll just use a plain color. So, uh, drag a new material to that slot and uh, drop that onto the text. Make the diffuse color a brown, red, or something. Yeah, more brown here. Like that. And uh, Specu increase specular level and the glossiness and uh, yeah then the material for the <laughs> text is done now let's create all the lights and the shadows uh, start uh, with uh, adding uh, standard uh, omni lights uh, make one on the floor and move it up from the ceiling to the light in the image. All the way up. And uh, move it over here. So, and then uh, create maybe four of them. Oh, I don't think I made an instance there, so I'll do it again. Instance three. Oh, that's the stir. Move it down a bit and then create once more three of them. Uh, as since there are instances, uh, if I change one, everyone will change. So shadows on, uh, area shadows. And lower the multiplier to uh, maybe 0 0.2 and uh, make a fast test render. Uh, there will be no shadows on uh, these materials since uh, they have uh, 100 in uh, self illumination value, uh, but uh, we're going to uh, export two passes and uh, we might. Uh, before we, we press H and uh, select all the omnis and uh, delete them. And uh, if we're happy with uh, how everything looks now, uh, I'm just going to uh, create a small camera move. So uh, press C. Uh, this is the camera that uh, projects the texture. So if we move this camera, everything will move with it texture will so uh, we'll uh, press P for a perspective and then make a new camera and uh, press auto key move uh, forward 50 frames and uh, in the top view here move it forward so this is 
how the animation looks like. Pretty nice. Okay, and uh, we select auto key, and uh, if we make a test render, everything does uh, not look fine because we rendered the wrong uh, viewport. So press camera 2 and the render again. Now this uh, looks fine, so let's export this uh, first pass by uh, going to the render setup uh, act, uh, range 0 to 50 and make uh, the output size, render output uh, select your folder here All this uh, background layer and uh, select the uh, PNG files. Okay, and uh, then hit render. Okay, now uh, they have uh, rendered all 3 ds Max rendered all the images, and uh, now let's create the shadows. So once more, go back to light, uh, create a omni light on the floor, and uh, press P for the perspective view, and uh, move it up in the ceiling here. And uh, hold shift and uh, drag uh, two copies. Move these three over here. Put that in up. So uh, now I don't think I made. Ah, it has to be instances. So let's do that again. Two as instances, and uh, go to the edit panel. Multiply zero point two. Uh, shadows on area shadows and uh, we're going to go to the material editor and uh, in the new material slot create a, uh, a matte shadow material and then we're going to select everything no nope. control a and we're going to assign material to selection and press OK. Now if uh, we test render this, let's see how it looks. OK, we have to uh, remove the background image. Uh, but uh, this is what the shadows will look like. Oops. And uh, with this is the alpha channel. So uh, press 8. And uh, uh, untick use map. So press uh, C and select camera number two. And uh, maybe we'll create, uh, no, we'll uh, make a 